Alrighty, figured I'd make a uh, quick video uh, and chat about uh, the solar panels. Maybe you can see, it's hard to see, they're at quite an angle. <clears throat> they're not at quite a, as steep of an angle as you're supposed to have them, but uh, the money it would have costed to tilt them more, uh, you, you would have not made that money up in the electricity you would have produced. So they put them on just at the <clears throat> on top of the shed here. I gotta back up so you can see them. There's 48 panels, and a panel is, I think, like a sheet of plywood, four by eight. So there's six high, eight across. They're split into like two zones right down the middle. And uh, we're producing, uh, well, in the summer, all, all year round, if you have averaged it out, um, we're supposed to produce just about like a quarter, like 25% more power than we use here. And that's, that's pretty much the mark to be, like from my understanding, is to be like residential instead of commercial, so then you get uh, rebates and um, incentives and whatnot. So, but they're pretty neat. Uh, I think they're about 50 pounds a panel. Um, get a little closer here. You can see, hopefully you can see here, try not to walk in too much mud. Um, right there and right there, there's like rails. <clears throat> that they sit on and then the thing you slide there's a little uh, bolt down brackets four of them on each panel and they just slide wherever you need them and boom they lock down so they're they're pretty slick in that sense they went up fast um, I literally know nothing about this system of course the screens don't want to uh, um, it's producing uh, quite a bit right now. I don't know what your eyes are able to see. I don't think screens... I'm not sure you can. You can see it's counting up. It's making juice. So, predominantly, it, uh, it runs in like kilowatt hours, I think. Something like that. And that's what they charge you. Terrible with electricity walk over here to these other panels but uh, it's making juice and uh, there's like a system where you can store the power with batteries well let's see here what's this thing say it flashes back and forth 428 something about the small numbers what we bought and the big number is what we sold. So, our, we, no, we've, we, so we've bought 278, and then it should flash like a 400 number. 428, I think that's what the panels have produced. I don't know, I don't understand this, maybe not quite that much. Production meter, 373. I don't know, somehow XL they added in so that one was already there, but they changed it out for a different one. House meter. Uh, this is like a uh, shut it off, I think, in case like uh, you have to work on something or something went wrong. Obviously, production meter, photo. See, I know nothing. I know absolutely nothing about electricity, but uh, I thought it'd be kind of neat to show you guys all energy solar. These are the guys that put it in. Um, all energy solar. Um, yeah, I know nothing about electricity. Uh, the dudes were hard workers. They, uh, they put it up in like three days. They had rented a trencher, dug this whole trench, and I peeked out the window one morning, I got up for work, and they were hand shoveling it or like using a hoe to pull it back in. It was like wet clay because it was raining. And I'm like, I come outside, I'm like, are you seriously gonna do that all by hand? He's like, yeah. We'd... I'm like, yeah, hold that thought for a second. And I went and got the skid loader, and five minutes later, I buried the trench. He's like, oh, you just saved me four hours of work. No sense uh, doing that. I said, you got better things to do on the roof, hooking those things up. So, yeah. They're, uh, they're pretty neat. Um, but like I said, I know nothing about the unit's electricity. I just know that we're roughly making 25% more than what we use. Maybe not necessarily now. Um, 
it's kind of bright out today, which is kind of nice because the last few days have been cloudy. But, um, yeah, the, so he said this thing like updates every four hours or something. It's three o'clock right now, and you can see the last data that it put in was around one o'clock. Um, so, let me shut this. So it's behind, but, uh, you can see uh, what it's made in its lifetime and they've only been on for less than a month but uh, you know in the long run it's supposed to average out and they got like a 20 or 30 year lifespan or warranty on them so hopefully they last longer than that but uh, I know the number that says this month is off from the lifetime but that's like something about that's when they turned on the app for us whereas that is like the legit number that's on those boxes over here um, but it's kind of neat because then you can go down and it's like as the year goes on and as years go on uh, we'll be able to see which months were the most productive for us and then um, you know as you go on to years you'll be able to compare like July 2017 or no not sorry we didn't have them then so like July or uh, December 2017 versus December 2018 and we'll see which year was more productive and uh, you know it gives you all sorts of stats about how you're saving the environment and you've you know planted this many trees basically by not using um by making yourself green energy so i mean it's kind of neat but uh they're they're not cheap I'll tell you that right now they are not cheap so but there are incentives there are programs uh available so if you're interested uh i don't i didn't get in on the book work because a lot of it happened during fall harvest but uh oh i don't know if i can even get the shot you know they do work out generally or this this company can help you figure out uh you know if they're worth it or not little rabbit hey buddy so yeah check them out they were uh, really cool um we had some guys out of minnesota the sales guy was out of northfield he was pretty cool and then uh um the, comp the, the guys that put them on were out of minneapolis and I think they had a crew from like Northfield or, or no, from uh, Iowa come up and help them for a day. But uh, very simple. The rails went on in a day. The panels went on in less than a day. And then like the prep work, they had to do some stuff. Very minimal work to the shed. They added in a couple boards. But uh, a lot of it had to do with putting these things on, digging this trench, and then just adding those rails. So once the rails are on, the panels go on in a heartbeat. So... But yeah, it's uh, it's kind of nice to see them making juice with the sun out today. Uh, it's really kicking in some power, but uh, maybe I'll learn more about them. Uh, he was over last week, the sales guy, to like kind of try to explain us how everything works. But uh, I don't understand it still. All I know is they're doing their thing. We don't have to do anything to them. I mean, we could try to sweep the snow off them if snow ever gets on there, but they'll melt so fast that it's probably not worth going up there and falling off the roof like Clark Griswold. So we'll probably just leave them. You're not supposed to wash them, just let the rainwater do their thing. You could spray water on them, but I just say let them do their thing personally. So yeah, uh, like I said, I'll try to figure out more about them or, you know, if you guys had questions, I can try to look up the answers to them or whatever or if you know our brochures we got but um yeah there they are check out that company if you're uh, interested they were pretty squared away all all solar oh shoot all solar energy now i gotta walk over here again because i don't want to mess it up all solar energy i'm pretty sure all energy solar that's what it was all energy solar hold on let's look for sure yes all energy solar There they are. So, all right. Like I said, uh, I'll try to learn more about it and maybe I can explain it better, but I just thought it was pretty cool because I did mention them over the summer that we were going to do this and maybe people are interested or not, but uh, there they are. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll check you guys later.